If you want your video to look like this for YouTube, this for TikTok, and this, well, I don't know why you'd want it to look like this, but it is all possible using Kapwing. I'll walk you through how to resize, crop, and export manually, as well as an AI tool that resizes, adds subtitles, and waveforms to get your video ready for social media all in a couple clicks. So click the link in the description and follow along because the first thing that you're going to need to do is upload your files. When you click on the link in the bio, you will be taken to Kapwing. Then click here, and now you can upload either from your device or from a URL link. Great, now it's time to resize your canvas. Once your footage is in the editor, go to the menu on the right where it says Resize Canvas. Click it and you will see that there are automatic presets for YouTube, LinkedIn, and TikTok that you can click, but also the drop-down menu below gives you a ton of examples for different aspect ratios for different social media platforms. And at the bottom of that list, you can manually enter a custom size in case you want something a little different than the normal presets. Once you decide what size you want your canvas to be, you can now choose whether you want your video to fully fit inside the new frame with fit to center, or stretch to the new canvas size with fill and crop. Don't worry, whatever you choose, you can always adjust later in the editor. And if you end up having extra space, you can choose to turn canvas blur on to extend the look and colors of your video to the background, or just choose a background color to fill the space. Click apply and you will see your changes reflected in the editor. You can also use the expand padding buttons on the right menu to make slight changes to the canvas in case you need one of the four sides to be a little bigger. Now that you've resized your canvas, here is how to resize your video. Click on your footage and you will see these blue circles appear around the video. Click and drag them to change the size of your video. But if you want to make sure the aspect ratio remains the same, make sure it is locked under aspect ratio on the right sidebar. Then you can simply click and drag your footage to see what you want in the frame. As a side note, if you want to turn one video into many by exporting it with different sizes for different platforms, you may want to create different project copies for each. To do that, go to the drop-down menu next to the project title and click Make Copy. It will automatically take you into a new identical project where you can resize it differently. But if you've resized to 9 by 16, which is a super popular aspect ratio for social media, it's important that all the assets you have are within social media safe zones. On the menu on the right, you will see safe zones. Click any icon to see the user interface for that platform to make sure it doesn't get in the way of your video, especially if you end up adding things like subtitles. You can also click all if you want to make sure your video will be clearly seen on every major social media platform. However, Kapwing also has a way to do all of this all at once in just a couple clicks using Magic Create. Go to the top of the right hand menu and under Smart Tools, you will see Magic Create. When you click it, you will see a ton of different generated options from different aspect ratios and resizing to subtitles and progress bars and more. Just click Apply to Project and it will add everything you need. Don't worry, whatever you choose, you can always adjust later in the editor. Last but not least, here is how to export your video. Go to the top right hand corner and click on Export Project. Choose your format, resolution, and compression level, and then click on Export again. Your project will start exporting in the background. You can either watch its progress here or continue to work by clicking back on your canvas. Once it's done, it will appear in Recent Exports, and when you click Download, it will download straight to your device. And that's it. Whether you choose to manually resize or use AI with Magic Create, resizing is an essential part of getting your media on different platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on how to level up your content, and happy editing.